You think you're saving time with ChatGPT, but unless you've done this 10 minute setup, you're actually working slower. In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you the setup almost everyone misses. So ChatGPT remembers your world, writes in your voice, and delivers useful work first time. Done right, this gives you 10 times better output and saves at least three to six hours every week. I've used ChatGPT daily for two years across every part of my workflow. And this is the setup that finally made it click. Stay with me to the end and I'll share the one line that forces clarity and certainty every single time. And it only takes a few quick steps. ChatGPT isn't your assistant yet. It's more like a clueless new hire. And unless you onboard it properly, it will keep wasting your time. When I walked into my first job as a lawyer straight out of university, I knew the law, but I had no idea how to be a lawyer. My supervising solicitor sat opposite me and those first few months were brutal. Every email, every memo, even how I asked for help got corrected. It was exhausting, but also it was exhilarating because the feedback loop was instant. Within weeks, I wasn't just learning the law, I was becoming useful. And that's exactly where ChatGPT is, packed with knowledge, but clueless about you. The difference you can do in two minutes what took me months. Set expectations, shape its voice, and teach it how to deliver work you'd actually sign off on. That's the foundation, teaching ChatGPT how to actually work with you. Do this right, and suddenly every reply feels tailored, not generic. With the foundation in place, things start to get interesting because next we'll unlock the one shift that ends guesswork and gives you consistently useful answers. But first, let's make sure ChatGPT is up to speed. Step one, switch on memory. Go to settings, personalization, memory, and switch it on. That's it. Memory does the boring continuity work so you don't have to repeat yourself. Step two, still in personalization, fill in your custom instructions. This is where you turn ChatGPT from generic to yours. In box one, fill in who you are, fill in details about your profession, your current projects, values, and audience. This stops ChatGPT writing like the internet's average and starts it writing like you. In box two, you want to fill in how you want replies. So it's tone, preferred format, and the checks you want it to undertake before it hands work back. That alone, cuts out a ton of rework. And then for box three, you want your world in 200 words. Now, to do this, you need to start a fresh chat. Explain what you do, who you serve, and your constraints. Then ask ChatGPT to summarize it. Paste that in, and suddenly, answers land in your context, not in somebody else's. I've dropped examples in the description. Copy them, tweak them, and keep a separate document with all your versions. Treat it like onboarding a new employee. Expect a few rounds of feedback before it clicks. But once it does, you'll stop correcting and you'll never look back. But here's the thing. Even with memory and instructions working well, most people still hit a wall. The answers feel better, but not reliable enough to trust every time. When the output really matters, structure beats winging it. The problem is you probably just type whatever pops into your head and that's why the results are hit and miss. There's a simple framework that flips this. With it, you'll get an 80% right first draft fast. I call it the prompt sandwich. And here's the gist. Role, task, audience, and voice. Inputs, assumptions, outputs, format, quality check. Think of it like handing ChatGPT a proper brief instead of a vague request. I've dropped the full template in the description for you. The real trick is speed. You don't want to hunt through notes for this every time. Instead, make a shortcut you can summon with a keystroke. On a Mac, here's how. Open the Shortcuts app, click the plus to create a new shortcut, add the action, insert text, paste in your full prompt sandwich, save it as prompt sandwich, go to settings, keyboard, shortcuts, services, and you'll find prompt sandwich under services. And you just want to assign a hotkey to that. My hotkey is control, option, command, and P. So now anytime you're in ChatGPT, just hit that combo of keys and the whole framework props up ready for you to customize. No more rummaging through documents mid deadline. And with that shortcut, 
in place, you've got a one-click way to get structured, reliable answers faster than 99% of people using ChatGPT. But here's where it gets powerful. What if you could package all of this into your own version of ChatGPT? so you and your team get the same high quality responses every single time. Up to this point, ChatGPT's been like a bright intern, onboarded, following your checklists, getting sharper with feedback. But what if you could promote that intern into a permanent team member, complete with their own employee badge and a desk? That's what a custom GPT is. Your world, your rules, baked into a version of ChatGPT you and your team can rely on. So click Explore GPTs, Create. Then you want to add your knowledge. So go to Configure Knowledge and upload your SOPs, your style guide, any key PDFs. That way the model pulls from your actual materials instead of inventing policy on the fly. And then you want to add three to five example pairs, good and bad. So now your intern has graduated. Badge on, desk set up, SOPs in hand, you've built a permanent teammate that knows your world inside out. But a teammate isn't just there to look smart, they've got to deliver results daily. And that takes us on to step four. So your custom GPT has the badge, the desk and the SOPs. Now it needs to deliver time savings every single day. Think repeatable cards, not heroic improvisation. First, anchor it in reality. In your custom GPT, set the rule, answer using uploaded documents, cite file names, if a file is over 90 days old, ask me to confirm. That stops drift and ensures every answer is based on your latest materials, not guesswork. Next, build a small library of prompt cards. Each card has a title, one line use case, the prompt sandwich with replaceable fields, an example output and one line quality check. And then for meetings, paste in the transcript and run this card task. Extract action items, owner due dependencies, grouped by owner. If dates are missing, propose realistic ones. Output a table with owner action due dependencies risks. And then as a quality check, flag ambiguities, ask one clarifying question. And the result, a clean, actionable set of minutes without the Sunday night admin. As another example, each morning paste in or upload the last 24 hours of activity. Or if you've linked it to your Google Drive, refer to the documents created in the last 24 hours and ask for a sub 120 word digest. Top three wins, top three risks, one action per owner, always starting with assumptions and missing information. For CRM, paste the last three interactions, run the prompt sandwich and keep the quality check line. That way unverified information is flagged before you reply. The result fewer back and forths. So at this point, you've got ChatGPT trained, structured and operationalized. Basically a teammate who can run playbooks on repeat, but clever isn't enough. You want them to be reliable, 100% reliable. So let's bake defensive checks into your prompts and into your custom GPT. Build these defensive checks in, ask for failure. List the three biggest ways this could be wrong or risky and fix them, add a facts line. If you can't cite it, tag it unverified. Anything sensitive, run a second pass. Show me what you assumed, mark any sensitive data, propose safer wording. Next, useful beats pretty. Two quick passes on anything important will halve rewrites. Pass one, assumptions and sources. Start with assumptions and missing information at the top. Cite sources where you use them, tag anything unverified so it's clear what still needs checking. Pass two, red team rewrite. Now ask ChatGPT to rewrite its own answer with your tone rules, plain spoken, practical, no more than two steps. Compare the before and after. You'll be surprised what falls out when you force clarity. So with memory and custom instructions, you stop repeating yourself. With the prompt sandwich, you've got the one line that kills fluff, which is list assumptions and missing information before you start and flag anything unverified. And with a custom GPT, you standardize the good version of you. Put together, this setup reliably saves three to six hours every week and kills the frustration of why didn't it get me? But here's the thing. Most people who do all this still feel lost inside ChatGPT. Their workspace is chaos. 
and it quietly costs them hours. In the next video, I'll show you how the pros stay organized so you never lose a great idea or a winning prompt again. See you on the next one.